Hi, I'm Bertie Thompson. I'm the founder of Pluggable Technologies. Windows 8.1 has a bunch of enhanced multi-monitor features which are really great and uh, because we sell USB adapters that allow you to connect multiple displays, we wanted to give you a chance to see what's new in Windows 8.1. So I have a laptop here and we've got uh, a total of eight monitors, the laptop plus seven additional ones. So when you connect monitors to Windows this way, they're all part of the same extended desktop. So I can drag Windows around here and uh, do something on this monitor, um, which is completely independent from something that I would do on another monitor. And it's great. It's great for information workers, uh, programmers, people who are writing, people who are trading stocks, anybody who deals with a lot of information. But in Windows 8, there was some significant limitations. Basically, Metro and any Metro applications would only work on a single monitor. And in Windows 8.1, that uh, limitation's been lifted, and I wanted to show you uh, how that works. But first, how in the world did we get all of these monitors connected up to a single system? And in fact, a single system through a single USB 3 cable? And the answer is USB graphics adapters, which are some of our products. So we have here a uh, seven port USB 3 hub, and you can see we're using every port on it. And off of that hub, we've got four of our USB 3 VGA adapters driving each of these four VGA monitors. And then this monitor that's in portrait mode, we have a USB 3 HDMI DVI adapter. And then this monitor here, we have running off a pluggable UGA 3000, which is another a different model of graphics adapter. And we have details on the pluggable page about what you know, all the kind of technical differences are between them. But in short, it's really just what types of monitors they connect to because there's a lot of different uh, connector types. Then this monitor is connected actually directly to the laptop. And uh, you might notice that the laptop is actually an Apple MacBook Air. Uh, it's running Windows 8, uh, actually Windows 8.1. And if you stick around uh, to the end of the video in the description, uh, we'll have a link to a further video that will explain how we're doing this, how we're running uh, Windows 8.1 on a MacBook Air, uh, because it's actually through a USB drive that's there in the back. Okay, so now what is actually new in Windows 8.1? So I can go to the start menu on a particular display uh, and I can pull up any kind of application here and it comes up full screen on that display as Metro apps do, uh, but I can go over here and I can open an entirely different full screen application. So really now multiple monitors is useful in the Metro context. If I had tried to do that with just straight Windows 8, uh, Metro would have only uh, been able to and trying to use just a single display. Um, and I can also mix regular desktop applications, like I'll open IE here uh, just on the desktop. Um, and so this is the desktop version of IE, and I can drag that around and use it. Um, but, you know, it can live alongside the Metro applications. In particular, there's even a, a, an interesting new functionality that lets us take a Metro application and kind of dock it to the side. And then I can take a regular application up there and dock that to the side. So now we have our regular application docked alongside the Metro app. So, you know, whether you have, you know, kind of two monitors or uh, eight monitors like this, you're able to have a lot of applications running simultaneously, be able to use those applications simultaneously. Are there performance limitations when you're running over USB? Definitely, but it's not kind of actually what you'd expect. A uh, USB 3 is a five gigabit per second bus, and the only thing that gets sent over USB in this case is the, the pixels that are changing, the, the actual images that are changing. So uh, USB is actually a little bit less of a limitation, and it's more of making sure that you have a you know, modern PC. We like to recommend um, you know, PC from the last year or two, Intel HD 4000 graphics, a two or four core machine, something of that class or better. That kind of machine combined with Windows 8.1 lets you be hyper productive. I'm just going to open a whole bunch of windows here. You can see the, uh, the background change there. Another kind of cool feature with Windows 8.1 is they have the concept of a desktop background that spans all the displays. So this is actually a single image uh, uh, from their Beaches theme pack that is, uh, every time the image changes, it just kind of spreads out over all the displays. So here's Windows 8.1. Start menu on every screen, the ability to have Metro apps working on one screen or multiple screens, uh, the ability to have Metro and regular desktop apps working side by side side. You know, it's still Windows 8. There's still, you know, if you don't like Windows 8, there's still all of those aspects here. Uh, but basically, use with a multi-monitor system is greatly improved. Uh, and in combination with the great extensibility that you get with USB adapters like this, you can do some pretty amazing things. So that's it. Thanks a lot. You can see more information, including links to the product in the description.